Good evening. I'm Mike Reed, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Gannett, the publisher of over 260 daily news products and USA Today, and the organizer of tonight's inspiring High School Athlete Recognition Awards. Before we begin, I want to take a moment to address recent events. The killings of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor are but a few recent examples of the devastating realities Black communities have faced for far too long. Each reflects the systemic racism, racial injustice, and inequalities that have plagued our nation's history. Gannett and the USA Today Network stand in solidarity with Black communities as an ally in the fight against discrimination in all its forms. We believe Black Lives Matter. We are committed to action to drive real and lasting change, and will use our media platforms to listen, educate, and advocate across the communities we serve. Tonight's honored student athletes set an incredible example for our nation. They demonstrate that on an equal playing field, we are at our best and can achieve greatness together. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Hoda Kotb. Good evening, everybody. And we should say tonight is all about you. Tonight we celebrate the athletes, the families, the friends, and the sports fans. This year is not what any of us expected, but we're not gonna let it stop us from celebrating the accomplishments of the best high school athletes in our communities. Not only are we recognizing and awarding the best performances in high school athletics, but we'll also be shining a light on the off the field stories of courage and perseverance and heart that provide much needed messages of hope and inspiration for all of us during these very uncertain times. You guys together, we will get through this and we'll shine brighter. I offer a heartfelt congratulations to all of tonight's honorees who have wonderful and exciting new chapters ahead. I am convinced those of you watching can foster the skills and lessons learned playing sports to become future leaders in your communities and make the world a better place. We are counting on you. We continue to cheer for you from the sidelines. I wanna wish you guys best wishes for a bright future. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is a living chronicle of hustle, heart, and hard work. The men enshrined here achieved greatness on the field and off. Their careers may have ended, but their example of perseverance against all odds lives on in every person it inspires. Visit the Pro Football Hall of Fame this summer and see all legends immortalized in bronze. The Pro Football Hall of Fame. Life lessons included with admission. We're for people, the pioneers, the underdogs, the players, and the slow and steadies. We're for people, for who they are and who they could become. Yes, we're a bank, and some say our business is all about money, but that's an old idea. Because look past the money, and you'll see real human lives. We see it, because we're for people. Huntington, welcome. Western Reserve Group, serving the insurance needs of families, businesses, and farms for more than 110 years. Offering a wide range of property and casualty insurance products for automobiles, homes, commercial businesses, and farms. Western Reserve Group is committed to serving the needs of others. As a direct quote from Kevin Day, President and CEO, we feel it is important for Western Reserve Group to support the community in which we do business and all those who support us, including athletes and their families, as well as our many employees who also live and raise their families here. As a proud sponsor of Best of the Daily Record Preps, Western Reserve Group would like to congratulate this year's All-Star Preps. Welcome to the Best of the Daily Record All-Star Preps, presented by Western Reserve Group, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and Huntington. We are proud to honor the top high school athletes from Northeast Ohio, as the USA Today Network brings you the best night in high school sports across the country. The Daily Record Preps Award Show begins in three, 
two, one. And this is my world now. The show starts now. Hey, sports fans, I'm Courtney Cronin. And I'm Dr. Jerry Punch. We are thrilled to bring you what is considered to be the biggest and best high school sports celebration across the entire country. You know, Dr. Punch, I've covered sports across all levels throughout my career, and I always say my most rewarding experiences as a journalist have been telling the stories of high school athletes, and I'm thrilled that we get to be here tonight to honor the nation's best. Courtney, so much uncertainty the past few months, the pandemic around the world, business, sports, everything is ground to a screeching halt. I know so many lives have been touched and changed. How about you? Yeah, as someone who covers the NFL, we've been navigating some pretty murky waters. And while there is a lot of uncertainty in our day-to-day -day life, the one thing that's not uncertain are the accomplishments and achievements of the athletes we're about to honor. This is a night of celebration, so let's get this party started. And let's meet our co-host joining us from New York City and Connecticut are Jesse Palmer and Sage Steele. I'm Jesse Palmer. And I'm Sage Steele, and we will be your hosts. What an absolute honor it is to be a part of this amazing award show to recognize the dedication, the hard work, and the perseverance by so many high school athletes. And we are talking to you. I want to offer a heartfelt congratulations for getting through these last couple of months. I know it's not how you scripted, but we hope that this is a little bit of time for you to celebrate your accomplishments with us tonight. The Daily Record is proud to bring you a star-studded award show to honor the top high school athletes from Northeast Ohio, brought to you by Western Reserve Group, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and the Huntington Bank. What we're doing tonight is unprecedented. We're bringing together some of the biggest names in professional sports. I'm talking about Michael Phelps, Venus Williams, Drew Brees, to help us honor some of the country's best high school athletes. And Sage, I want to know, who do you want to see? Oh my gosh, there are so many people I cannot wait to see. How about Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes, of course, the great Stephen Curry, Gabby Douglas will join us as well, and Misty Mae Trainer, the beach volleyball superstar. So many people out there I can't wait to see. What about you guys? Thanks, guys. What an incredible list of celebrities and stars. And add to that list, how about 2019 U.S. Open champion Gary Woodland? What a rising star in the golf world. And how about Jordan Burroughs? He is a beast on the mat as a wrestler. Yeah, anytime Jessica Mendoza is on TV, is appointment viewing for me. I learn so much about the game of baseball whenever she's in the booth, and I'm kind of biased as an avid skier myself. I'm excited to see Bodie Miller tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to see Bodie either, you know. And, and I just can't believe someone talked legendary head coach Bill Belichick into doing this. What an exciting show this is going to be. You know, tonight we'll present the top honorees and then the athlete of the year for each state sanctioned sport. Now, honorees remember that no matter who is selected as a top award recipient, everyone is included in this show is a winner. In addition to celebrating the achievements over the last year, we're also celebrating the spirit of sport. And that's not made up of one win or one big night, but hundreds of seconds, minutes, hours, and days that create the path to this moment. And the spirit of sport is about more than just the game. It's the preparation for life. Becoming a star requires setting goals, handling criticism, taking risks, and becoming a team player. What we hope is that you celebrate this honor, but remember now is not the time to stop. The past few months have tested us all in ways we never expected. And even though we can't celebrate in person, you all deserve a moment in the spotlight. So this is your night. Now before we move into our first set of awards, we want to pause and recognize some of the loved ones who help these young athletes grow and rise to their individual challenges. Yeah, we're talking about mom and dad and family and those you cherish as family. 
You have encouraged and consoled. You've cleaned up stinky, sweaty uniforms, bandaged scraped knees, and wrapped sprained ankles. You've sat on the edge of your seat, maybe bit your nails until they were no more, cried tears of joy and heartache as you hoped that your pride and joy would achieve everything they dreamed. Mom, Dad, your little girl or boy has grown up and become a winner in no small part thanks to your sacrifice. So this show is also a tribute to you. And not to be overlooked, let's give some props to the coaches out there. Former legendary coach John Wooden once said, a good coach can change a game, but a great coach can change a life. Congratulations to all you coaches on a job well done. Yes, thank you to all the supporters who have helped shape these young lives. And thank you to all of our sponsors for your support in making this night possible for our community. Now, before we get to the awards, let's head to Courtney to tell us how our viewers can support the athletes and coaches tonight and be part of the celebration. All right, let's show the power of the high school sports community in the Worcester area. During the month of June, the Daily Record will join other media groups and the USA Today Network to host a month-long fundraiser for charitable organizations assisting with COVID-19 relief efforts. And the community with the most donations will receive a matching donation from USA Today for charities in their area. So, Worcester, let's show the love. To donate, just click Team Worcester COVID Relief on the event website. Now let's hype it up and get the show trending. Tag us on your social posts, share photos and videos from your own celebrations and watch parties with tonight's hashtags. Posts on Instagram and Twitter will be shown on the social media feed on the event website when you use these hashtags to be part of the national conversation as these awards are announced while showing support for your local friends, teammates, and students. Plus, one lucky person using these hashtags on Instagram or Twitter will receive an autographed gift from one of our featured guests tonight. I'm going to donate and post right now. Let's show some love. Now, we hope you're going to help us support COVID relief efforts throughout the country. We better be seeing your posts on social media, but now it is time to finally get this thing started. Athletes, look, you have run, you've hit, you've jumped, thrown, tossed, spiked, served, pinned, and pitched your way into the record books, into the pages of your hometown newspaper, and now into our hearts as well. But we're ready to showcase these stars for all of the world to see. Let's get the show started with one of the biggest basketball stars playing today. Presenting our basketball awards tonight is six-time All-Star, two-time MVP, and three-time NBA champion, none other than Golden State Warriors phenom, Steph Curry. Basketball is presented with support from Gio Ninos. What's up, athletes? Stephen Curry here. Just want to congratulate each and every one of you on an amazing career, an amazing year, and uh, wishing you all the best where life takes you next. Basketball and the level of play continues to evolve. And fans and coaches are always looking for the next superstar who's going to change the way the game is played. Let's meet some up and coming stars who are on track to becoming the next game changers. Here are your honorees for Girls Basketball Player of the Year. The finalists for Girls Basketball Player of the Year are, and the best of Daily Record Preps Girls Basketball Player of the Year is McKenna Geyser of Dalton High School. Senior playmaker McKenna Geyser put together her best high school season to cap off an impressive prep career. Geyser earned first team All-Ohio honors and All-Northeast Inland District Player of the Year. She averaged 16.6 .6 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game. She also led Dalton to its first Wayne County Athletic League title in school history, along with a fourth straight district championship. Geyser will take her basketball skills to Ashland University next year. Congratulations, McKenna. Good luck at Ashland University. Boys Basketball is presented tonight by Gio Ninos. Next up, the honorees for the Boys Basketball Player of the Year. And the finalists for the Boys Basketball Player of the Year are... And the best of daily record preps Boys Basketball Player of the Year is Chance Wells of Triway High School. Chance Wells, the Pac-7 Player of the Year, showed a knack for scoring the ball from all angles, leading Triway High School to one of its best seasons in the past decade. 
Wells transformed into a leader on and off the court to help propel Triway to 21 wins and a district championship during a special senior season. He is committed to Ohio Dominican University. Congratulations, Chance, and all the best at Ohio Dominican University. Next up, we have one of the most decorated bowlers of all time. One of only three players in history to reach 40 career PBA Tour titles. Here is five-time SB winner, Norm Duke. Girls Bowling. Hello, everyone. I'm Norm Duke, professional bowler. And did you know that more people go bowling than any other sport in the world? So doesn't that make bowling the hardest sport ever? That's what I think. Bowling is a time-honored sport that requires etiquette, coordination, strength, remaining calm under pressure. In fact, you gotta be steely. And I am thrilled to present the best young bowlers who absolutely know how to roll. Here are your honorees for the Girls Bowler of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the Girls Bowler of the Year for best of the daily record preps is Selena Powers Good of Worcester High School. Selena Powers Good hit nearly a 200 average for the season. She reached a high score of 266, which was the best score in the area by 14 pins. While Worcester High School didn't have major success as a team this year, Powers Good was the standout bowler in many of their matches. Congratulations, Selena. Great job. Boys Bowling. Next up, the honorees for the Boys Bowler of the Year. And the daily record All-Star Preps Boys Bowler of the Year is Gordon Jackson of Triway High School. Gordon Jackson merged in the second half of the season to become Triway High School's top bowler. Jackson finished with a 210.31 average and earning honorable mention All-Ohio honors at the Division II State Tournament. He helped lead an extremely balanced Triway team to the State Tournament where they finished 10th as a team. He also was responsible for the team's top game of the season when he fell one pin shy of bowling a 300, finishing with a score of 299. Give it up for the 2020 Boys Bowler of the Year, Gordon Jackson. To present our next award, we have one of the most decorated female athletes of all time, three-time gold medalist, world record holder, and perhaps the greatest athlete in the heptathlon and long jump, one of the all-time greats in track and field, Jackie joyner Kersey. Girls Cross Country. Hi, I'm Jackie Joanna Kersey, Olympic champion, but some of my best memories was running and playing basketball in high school. The athletes who participate in cross country and track and field competitions must master physical and mental hurdles to run another mile, shave off the extra second, and jump a little higher. Here are your honorees for the Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year. The finalists for the Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year are, the Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year is Maya Hampshire from Oroville High School. Maya Hampshire was a shining athlete all year long, especially when racing against her Wayne and Holmes County peers. She won the Wayne Holmes Invitational during the regular season and took first place at the district meet. She finished her career placing 23rd in the Division III state meet and has committed to Findlay University next year. Congratulations, Maya. Boys cross country. Next up, the honorees for the Boys Cross Country Runners of the Year. And the finalists for the Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year are the Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year is Jonathan Barner of Waynedale High School. Jonathan Varner broke out as a sophomore, winning several crowded races and performing better than anyone else from the area at the state meet. Varner earned all Ohio honors by finishing 12th at state in Division Three. Just a sophomore, his best years may still be ahead of him. Way to lead the pack, Jonathan.
Moving right along, we have a crowded field of competitors and one of the best of all time to announce the top players. Here to present the top football athletes, we have none other than Saints quarterback and Super Bowl MVP Drew Brees. Next up, football brought to you by Worcester Hydrostatics. Hey, I'm Drew Brees. I just want to encourage you to keep up the good fight both on and off the field. Sports isn't forever, but positive impacts on your community last a lifetime. I've played a lot of football in my time. I've been injured, set records, lost heartbreakers, and won big games. But believe it or not, some of my best memories are from playing high school football. In 1996, we were the 5A Division II state champions in the state of Texas. And of all the accomplishments I've been able to experience on the football field, that was probably one of my greatest ones ever. Here are your honorees for Defensive Football Player of the Year. And your finalists for Defensive Football Player of the Year are... And the Football Player of the Year on defense is... Braden Taylor of Worcester High. Braden Taylor was instrumental in leading the Worcester Generals back from an 0-3 start, which led the team to win a conference title and make the playoffs. While he was the team's lead running back, Taylor really shined from his position of middle linebacker defensively. He flew all over the field to make a team leading 132 tackles and helped shut down Mansfield Sr. in a key regular season win that bolted the Generals from playoff pretender to contender. He plans to attend Youngstown State University next year. Congratulations, Braden. Football offense. Here are your honorees for Offensive Football Player of the Year. And your finalists for Offensive Football Player of the Year are... And the Offensive Football Player of the Year is... Marquell Parks of Orville High School. This season, junior Marquell Parks often made it seem like he was playing a different game than everyone else, scoring 43 total touchdowns during 12 games, picking up right where he left off after an insane sophomore season. In three seasons, Parks has scored 121 total touchdowns, leaving him just 12 shy of tying the Ohio High School record for scores in a career. Parks has shattered several area records during his career at Orville and still has a senior season ahead of him to continue improving. Congratulations, Marquell. All right, so next up is golf, and here to present is the 2019 U.S. Open champion, Gary Woodland. Girls Golf. Hey, everyone, it's Gary Woodland. I hope everyone is staying safe during this time, and congrats to all the athletes who've obviously put in so much hard work and dedication. One, I wish I was back in your spot. Uh, I missed my time in high school, but I cherish those memories still today. So hopefully it's a springboard forward for you. Um, and look forward to seeing you in the future. Golf is a game that takes unique combination of physical and mental stamina. It demands countless hours on the range, the greens, and on the course. These kids have put in the work and they have the handicaps to prove it. And the finalists for the Girls Golfer of the Year are The best of the record preps girl golfer of the year is Alyssa Honaker of Tesla High School. Playing on the boys golf team, Alyssa Honaker helped Tesla High School compete all season. Her performance on the Tesla boys golf team helped her earn a spot on the golf team at Concord University in West Virginia, where she will attend next year. Congratulations, Alyssa. Boys golf. And now to the boys team. Here are the honorees for Boys Golfer of the Year. Here are the finalists for Boys Golfer of the Year. The best of the daily record Boys Golfer of the Year is Dylan Kaufman of Highland High School. A number of the state champion Highland Hawks were worthy of being the area's top golfer, but senior Dylan Kaufman displayed the consistency and leadership necessary to lead his team to their first state title in program history. He finished off his standout season with a first place finish at the district tournament and a 15th place finish at the state tournament. Congrats, Dylan. Next up, our next award presenter is another legend, Gabby Douglas. Gymnastics. 
Hey, what is up everyone? It's Gabby Douglas here. I just wanted to say congratulations to all the honorees. I know it's a very crazy and tough time right now, but we will get through this together. I love you guys so much and remember to keep fighting. Mwah. It is such an honor to announce the gymnast of the year. I know the challenges you're facing in mind, body, spirit, focus. I wanna encourage all of you to always get back up after falling off the beam or stumbling a bit when you land. On the mat or in life, stick it. The finalists for Gymnast of the Year are And the top gymnast for 2020 is Rachel Furlong of Wooster High School. Competing against the best high school gymnasts in Ohio, Rachel Furlong turned in her best performances of the season at the state meet, finishing third in all-around competition and sixth in the floor competition. Furlong stood out as the best gymnast for Worcester consistently all season. Congratulations, Rachel. Our next presenter is just barely out of high school herself, but has represented the United States at multiple levels. She's a professional soccer player for the Washington Spirit and midfielder of the U.S. Women's National Team and FIFA Women's World Cup Award winner. Here she is, Rose Lavelle. Next up, soccer, brought to you by Schmidt Service Now. Hi, I'm Rose Lavelle. I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you guys. Some of my favorite memories from high school are playing high school sports and representing my high school on, on the soccer field. Um, so you guys can take that memory with you in this next stage of life and best of luck moving forward with whatever you have next. Congratulations again. Soccer is a beautiful sport. It's easily the world's most favorite sport. Anyone can play it at any time, anywhere, at the beach, on the street, in the gym. Let's take a look at the next generation of soccer stars. Here are your honorees for Girls Soccer Player of the Year. Here are your finalists for Girls Soccer Player of the Year. The Girls Soccer Player of the Year is Allie Candle from Northwestern High School. Allie Candle is great at saving her best for clutch moments. She came through again this season to help clinch Highland High School's first ever Wayne County Athletic League title. Candle cut right through defenses from her center mid spot, scoring 18 goals and dishing out five assists. She plans to attend Hiram College next year. Congratulations, Allie Candle, your Girls Soccer Player of the Year. Boys Soccer. Now to the boys' side of the field. Here are your honorees for Boys Soccer Player of the Year. And your finalists for Boys Soccer Player of the Year. The Boys Soccer Player of the Year is Taylor Mullet from Highland High School. Highland senior forward Taylor Mullet often set the tone for the team, scoring early, assisting off. He led the Highland Hawks to their second straight appearance at regionals with 26 goals and 13 assists. He also placed at district championships and the IVC conference. Congratulations, Taylor Mullet, your boys soccer player of the year. Our next guy, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I could start with his 28 Olympic medals, of which 23 of those are gold. Or maybe the time that he was named the Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year. He's a world champion, world record holder, and the most decorated swimmer of all time, Michael Phelps. Girls swimming. I've spent a significant portion of my life in the pool, and I know firsthand the commitment that each of these swimmers has made to be the best. It all starts with a dream. Then you put in the work, you make the sacrifices, you chase that dream one stroke at a time. Every hundredth of a second you gain, gets you closer to that dream. The extra laps in the early morning separate you from the rest of the competition. Everything you've done, everything you've learned, everything you've put into becoming the best is all worthwhile when you see your name at the top of the board. Enjoy the moment, you've earned it. Here are your honorees for Girls Swimmer of the Year. The finalist for the Girls Swimmer of the Year. The Girls Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year is Gracie Chelf of Wooster High School. Although just a sophomore, Gracie Chelf has experienced a record year winning a district title in the 100 freestyle, 
50 freestyle, and 200 freestyle relay, which qualified her for the state championship. Chell finished 10th in both individual events at the state championship and was given the OCC Swimmer of the Year honor. Congratulations, Gracie. Boys swimming. Now to the boys lane. Here are your honorees for Boys Swimmer of the Year. The finalists for the Boys Swimmer of the Year. The Boys Swimming and Diving Athlete of the Year is Thomas Matthew of Wooster High School. Senior Thomas Matthew finished his high school career as one of the most decorated swimmers in Worcester history, setting school records in the 100, 200, and 500 freestyle and 100 butterfly this season. The Ohio Capital Conference Swimmer of the Year also finished in the top six in two individual events at the state meet, winning those events at the district meet. He is committed to attend the University of Cincinnati next year. Congratulations, Thomas. All right, with seven Grand Slam titles, five Wimbledon championships, and four Olympic gold medals, our next presenter is a legend and arguably one of the most accomplished, certainly inspiring women in the history of sport. Please welcome Venus Williams. Girls Tennis. Hi everyone, Venus here. Congratulations on a great year. I know this year has been a little bit different for everyone, but congratulations still on staying strong. And also in life, we don't ask for less challenges, we ask for more skills. So with that being said, I am so happy to introduce our winners of our sports awards. Often against the wall, everything riding on the next point, tennis players excel at performing under pressure. The margin for error is small, and one mistake to the left or to the right could cost the match. These players have shown they can handle the pressure, winning the big points when it matters. Here are your honorees for Girls Tennis Player of the Year. Let's meet the finalists for Girls Tennis Player of the Year. The Girls Tennis Co-Players of the Year are Sydney Adcock and Abby Adcock of Orville High School. Twin Sydney and Abby Adcock are more than just in sync with their doubles partner. The sisters play at their best when together, where they dominated the court as a doubles pairing all season long. On the brink of elimination, they rallied when it mattered most to qualify for the state meet during their senior seasons, finishing off their final years in style at Orville High School. Congratulations, the Dynamite Sister Duo. I know a thing or two about that. The Girls Tennis Co-Players of the Year, Sydney and Abby Attic. We've had so many professional athletes as part of this program who are at the top of their game. The next is no exception. She's considered one of the greatest beach volleyball players in the history of the sport. Please welcome Misty May Trainer. Volleyball. Hey guys, this is Misty May Trainer. I am so happy to be celebrating you. I wish I could be there in person. I know this is a virtual time we're living in right now. But again, I am so happy to be celebrating with you. Congratulations to all the seniors. Congratulations on all the awardees. Congratulations to everyone graduating. The best volleyball players have a motivation to rise above the competition and to put their team in a position to score and win. They tax their bodies and test their stamina, putting in countless hours of training to perfect their skill. It's time to dig up the best of the best for volleyball. Here are your honorees for Volleyball Player of the Year. The finalists for Volleyball Player of the Year are... And the Volleyball Player of the Year is Madison Rowe of Waynedale High School. Madison Rowe's powerful hitting alone made the senior incredibly valuable for Waynedale's volleyball team, but her all-round game made her indispensable for a Golden Bears team that dominated its way through the season. Rose's talent and leadership led Waynedale High School to another league title and district titles placement. Congratulations, Madison, and all the best at Shawnee State University. Our next presenter is on his way to becoming the most decorated American wrestler in history. He's a Hodge Trophy winner, which is like the Heisman for wrestling. He's a four-time world champion and gold medal winner. Give it up for Jordan Burroughs. Boys Wrestling. 
What's up guys, Jordan Burroughs here, Olympic and world champion at 74 kilograms for the United States of America. I am happy to be here today with you guys and congratulations to all of the winners this evening. This is a very special day. Something that I'm happy to be a part of, especially because looking at my career now, at this point where you guys are, I never knew what I was capable of. And the cool thing about it is you guys still have so much ahead of you. I wanna to talk to all of the athletes out there about strength not just physical strength, but mental strength, about getting back up, shaking off the losses and trying again. We need that now more than ever. We need to get back up again kind of attitude. And it's my focus as I prepare for the next Olympics. But I'd like to challenge all the viewers out there to embrace this mindset, work together, and let's rise to the challenge of winning again. Here are your honorees for Boys Wrestler of the Year. And the finalists for Boys Wrestler of the Year are The wrestler of the year is Kale Woods from West Holmes High School. Kale Woods has been a standout since the start of his high school career and didn't disappoint as a senior, going 47 and two. Intermat Ohio ranked Woods number one in his weight class all year. He was the favorite to take home the state title at 113 before the state tournament was canceled. Congratulations, Kale. You are the daily record wrestler of the year. Again, congratulations to all of our Player of the Year honorees and award winners. From the big stars to the rising stars, I just love hearing these athletic greats announce the next generation of award-winning, show-stopping athletes. So let's show some love to all of them too, right? Show us all your celebrations and congratulations on social media. Make sure you're showing your support, photos and videos from your watch parties or even photos of your favorite moments throughout the season. Speaking of showing some love, we have something special in store for you tonight. While we're recognizing those who were able to train, perform, and excel in their sports, there were so many student athletes who were stopped short of reaching their goals when spring sports and other big milestones were canceled due to protecting students and fans from the spread of COVID-19. For all of you seniors out there, this is for you. Hey guys, this is Gabby Douglas. Hey guys, it's Patrick. Hey guys, it's Steph. Hey guys, Wayne Gretzky here. This is Jessica Mendoza. This is Venus Williams. We just want you to know. For every player who couldn't step onto the field. Who missed their last game. Who won't play that final match. Who never scored that last goal. Who missed the state playoffs. Who didn't go to prom. Or walk across the stage. This, this, this is for you. We know. You are to learn. We feel it too. The stillness. The silence. The absence. We never had the chance. We never felt what could have been. We worked. We practiced. We sweat, cried, and bled for those moments. For those opportunities. For those memories. And just like that, it stopped. cannot stop. We are not finished. Our chance to win is not over. The future is still calling. And it's calling your name. So don't stop learning. Don't stop training. Don't stop trying. And don't stop dreaming. Because the future, my future, our future, starts today. 
Don't stop now. What a powerful message for all our seniors out there. I'm here to ask you to get one more message trending, and it's one we all need to hear. Hashtag, don't stop now. And just to give this some extra momentum, we'll choose one person who uses this hashtag on Instagram or Twitter and award them with $1,000 and donate $1,000 to the COVID relief charity of their choice. Seniors, whatever your future may hold, good luck and don't stop now. Hopefully we'll be back on the fields and courts sooner rather than later. The next award is for a student athlete who has shown their commitment to being a leader on and off the field. Off the field leadership provides a shining example for peers while also impacting their community in specific and positive ways. It's hard to believe Kendra Mosley can make enough time for everything she did at Oroville High School, and even harder to believe when you factor in all she did away from school as well. On top of being a standout student, Mosley competed in track and swimming for the Red Riders during all four years of high school, but outside of athletics is where she really stood out. During her high school years, she volunteered for community outreach events like friendship meals, pause and play, and oh huddle gift wrapping. At school, she helps with student tutoring and mentoring while acting as the vice president of the National Honor Society, yearbook editor, and captain of the swim team. The Orville community was made better by Mosley being a part of it. Congratulations to this year's award winner. And now a word from your presenting sponsor. The Huntington Courage Award honors an athlete with a unique spirit. An athlete who sets a goal they are told they cannot achieve, and they do it anyway. Someone daring and tenacious, someone able to overcome obstacles, someone whose determination inspires and leads the ways for others to follow. This year's Courage Award recipient displays these qualities, and we hope students and families throughout Stark County will be inspired by the qualities demonstrated by such a young, brave individual. From the team at Huntington Bank, congratulations to the 2020 Courage Award recipient, and all the best of daily records, preps, honorees. Courage is demonstrated during challenging moments in life. We see it when an individual takes the path less traveled, when they get back up, when they restart, when against all odds they choose to keep going when most of us would give in. And sometimes I think we forget how many times we face these life-defining moments. This year has been one that has challenged us all. We're in a moment of time that we need to hear about courage, of rising up, of overcoming whatever is blocking the path to our dreams. We need stories that show us the power of courage that lives in the human spirit. How amazing is it that we find that inspiration, that spirit, that unbelievable courage within our high schools. Let's meet our 2020 Courage Award winner, Evan Heller of Wooster High School. It hasn't been an easy journey for Evan Heller. He was born with congenital heart disease and spina bifida, the former requiring open heart surgery as an infant and the latter affecting his ability to walk. But that didn't stop him from excelling as a high school athlete. After years of feeling left out and trying other sports that didn't stick, Heller fell in love with wheelchair basketball and track while at Worcester High School. During his time at Worcester, the Generals were one of the first schools in Ohio to form a wheelchair hoops team, and Heller and his team immediately excelled. Worcester didn't lose a game during the first three years of the program, going 54-0 since the 2017-2018 season. Heller has been the star all the way, too, leading the Generals to three state titles. In the fall, he'll head to Auburn University, who recruited him to play wheelchair basketball. His courage has been an inspiration to those around Worcester, and soon it'll inspire even more. Evan, congratulations, and thank you for sharing your story and being such an inspiration. The mission of the Pro Football Hall of Fame is to celebrate excellence everywhere. And tonight, we're excited to celebrate some very special excellence. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is honored to partner with the Wooster Daily Record to select the most outstanding coach in all of Wayne County. A coach is a leader. He's a mean mentor. 
It's more than just winning or losing. It's taking these athletes and making them into great young men and great young women. So this year's coach has been the model for that. And you're gonna hear some great things about his leadership. Coach, from all of our team at the Pro Football Hall of Fame, which has some pretty good coaches in it. Congratulations, and thank you for all that you're doing for so many. We focused a lot tonight on the student athletes, but as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, lessons of leadership, skills to win, and the belief you can do more must come from the top. And coaches who have a tradition of winning develop systems to build award-winning programs. They aren't relying solely on sporadic flashes of athletic talent, they are focused on teaching a group of individuals to become a true team. Our next presenter said it best, there are no shortcuts to building a great team each season. You build the foundation brick by brick. Here to present our Coach of the Year Award is a man who many consider one of the greatest coaches of all time, Bill Belichick. Coach of the Year. Hi, this is Bill Belichick. Congratulations on your high school career as student athletes. I know this is an exciting time for all of you. When I reflect back on my high school career, those are some of the fondest memories that I have. As we celebrate the accomplishments of our athletes tonight, it's important to recognize the leaders who guide these young adults and help them reach their full potential. I fully believe that there are no shortcuts to building a team each season. The coaches will honor tonight have achieved success by focusing on the details, putting in the hours, and getting the job done. Let's meet some of these great high school coaches. The Jody Schilling Coach of the Year Award goes to Ben Holt, boys basketball coach of Triway High. Saying Ben Holt went through a roller coaster of emotions during the 2019 2020 school year would be much too trivial. Holt suffered the loss of a close friend and mentor, coached the Triway Titans boys basketball team to a championship season, and then saw his team's tournament run end early because of an unprecedented virus. After beloved Triway athletic director Sean Carmichael died suddenly just before the school year, Holt was without one of his best friends and one of his basketball assistant coaches. The loss of Carmichael was something that stuck with Holt all season, and it'll likely stick with him much longer than that. But the Triway community did everything it could to play on in the memory of Carmichael, and no team did that like Holt's. And despite moving up a division, Triway cruised to a district title, handling the best Division II teams from the Canton District. Triway was set to face some of the best teams in the state before the rest of the tournament was canceled because of the coronavirus, perhaps on their way to writing one of the great Cinderella stories in Wayne County Hoops history. Congratulations, Coach Holt. Team of the Year. We've celebrated the athletes and the coaches for their incredible victories on and off the field. Now, let's turn to the teams. A team is a group of individuals working together toward a common vision. I know from experience that great teams don't just happen by luck. There are four things I ask of my team every day. One, do your job. Two, be attentive. Three, pay attention to the details. And four, put the team first. Mental toughness means doing the right thing for the team when it's not necessarily the best thing for you. Great teams put in the work to be exhaustively prepared, but able to adjust in an instant. After you put in those hours of work and preparation, you'll find that the trust to move as a team emerges. I feel certain that we'll see this sort of focus and intensity in the teams of the year we have tonight. The team of the year award goes to girls basketball team at Hilland High. There's dominance, and then there's what Highland's girls basketball team did this year. The lopsided scores aren't new for the Highland Hawks, who have been the premier girls hoops team in the state for most of the past two decades. But there was a reason longtime head coach Dave Schlebaugh wasn't afraid to laud this group as one of, if not the best, team he's ever had in his 29 years as coach. There's not a team in the area that has a chance against the Mighty Hawks, nor any team in Ohio. The only time Highland lost was to a prep team in North Carolina made up of a collection of Division I college recruits. The only thing missing from the Hawks' resume was a state title, an impossibility because of the canceled state tournament. 
They were a mere two games away, set to play in the state semifinals before the official word hit. Regardless, that doesn't make this team any less great. The 2019-2020 Highland Hawks weren't just a really good basketball team. They're a team for all time. Congratulations, Lady Hawks. You may not have had the chance to compete for the title, but you are clearly champions. Good evening. On behalf of the entire staff at Western Reserve Group, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce some of the biggest awards of the night, the Western Reserve Group Male and Female Athletes of the Year. Western Reserve Group is proud to sponsor this event because we believe athletics play an important role in young people's development. And it's not just about physical skills. Participating in sports teaches teamwork, leadership, determination, commitment, hard work, and sacrifice. These are invaluable qualities that will serve these students, not just on the field or court, but throughout their lives. So on behalf of everyone here at Western Reserve Group, I'd like to congratulate all of the daily record best of the preps honorees, especially the 2020 male and female athletes of the year. Now it's time for the biggest awards of the night. Here to present is an athlete who at only 24 years old has set the league on fire. NFL MVP, Super Bowl MVP, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Hey everybody, it's Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. Real sorry we couldn't be there today, but we wanted to make this extra special as we get through this time together. We've reached our final awards of the night, Athlete of the Year. The awards recognize accomplishments that are often above and beyond even the highest level of performance. Female Athlete of the Year. Nationally, we have seen phenomenal growth in women's sports. That recognition is long overdue. Let's meet some of the female athletes who will continue that momentum and shatter expectations. The finalists for Female Athlete of the Year are Madison Rowe, volleyball for Waynedale High School. Zoe Miller, basketball for Highland High School. McKenna Geyser, basketball for Dalton High School. The Female Athlete of the Year is McKenna Geyser. Not many single athletes have meant more to a program in the area over the past few years than Dalton's McKenna Geyser. The Bulldogs girls hoops team didn't have much history when she first stepped onto the court as a varsity player in 2016. They'd won a few district titles, but had never won the Wayne County Athletic League. By the time she was done in 2020, Geyser helped change all that. A four-time All-Ohio player, Geyser had the best season of her high school career as a senior, leading the Bulldogs to a 23-3 record, a league title, and a fourth straight district title. She captured several Player of the Year honors for her outstanding play as the team's primary scorer and creator. Her ability on the court, where she averaged north of 16 points per game despite sitting out most of the fourth quarter during several blowouts, combined with those intangibles, is why Geyser is headed to Ashland University to play for one of the top Division II women's basketball programs in the country. Congratulations, Makina. Way to lead and best of luck at Ashland. Male Athlete of the Year. Now it's time to move to the guys, to recognize the best of the best in boys' high school sports. Your Male Athlete of the Year. The finalists for Male Athlete of the Year are... Adam Bidlack, football and basketball for Dalton High School. Ezra McKee, basketball and football for Worcester High School. Briar Marthy, wrestling and football for Tuzlaw High School. The Male Athlete of the Year is... Briar Marthy of Tuzlaw High. During the 2019-2020 school year, no area athletes saw their hard work pay off quite like Marthy. During football season, he carried Tuzla on his back as the team's running back, carrying the ball 325 times in 10 games as a senior. If Tuzla wasn't playing from behind, it wasn't unusual for Marthy to carry the ball almost 50 times in a single game. Marthy was the smallest guy on offense most of the time, but finished his senior season with 1,466 yards and 14 rushing touchdowns. A year after setting Tuzla's single season rushing mark with 1,863 yards on the ground. And football was Marthy's second best sport. On the wrestling mat, Marthy wasn't just one of the best in the county, but one of the best in all of Ohio. He rolled off 35 wins while sustaining just two losses during the season, including an undefeated run through the conference, sectional, and district tournaments. The district championship he earned in Garfield Heights was the first of his decorated career after finishing a runner up twice. He was set to wrestle in his fourth state tournament before it was canceled because of the coronavirus. Congratulations, Briar Marthy. Thank you, Patrick. And for one final time, let's keep this celebration going. Remember to show your support on social media with tonight's hashtags. Back to you, Sage and Jesse. 
Thank you, Courtney. I'd also like to once again thank our sponsors who made this night possible. We truly could not do it without you. Stick around to see photos of all the all-stars featured here tonight and a few words from the businesses that made this night possible. And from the staff at The Daily Record, thanks for your support and for reading the inspiring sports stories throughout the year. You can see details on how to subscribe or to get more information on getting copies of tonight's show. Congratulations, everybody. Don't stop now. Keep pushing through. Good night. That's a wrap from all of us. And remember, it's all about the journey. Don't stop now.